In today's video, I am going to tell you guys the absolute fastest way to get your return on investment with Stepin. It is no secret that Stepin has a hefty upfront cost. So a lot of people are concerned about that upfront cost plus its sustainability. And hey, I definitely understand your concerns. So the absolute best way to mitigate your risk on projects like this is to get your return on investment back out as soon as possible. At that point, you'll be rolling with house money and it's basically free to play. Now I'm going to cover several strategies depending on what bankroll you're starting out with. Whether you wanna start out with one sneaker, three sneakers, or even nine sneakers, we're going to cover it all in today's video. I will be breaking down the exact cost and days to ROI. We're going to look at multiple levels, multiple rarities, multiple price points. And together we will figure out the days to return on your investment so that you guys can mitigate your risk and take your money out as soon as possible. So make sure to stick around to the end so you can find the best strategy for you and your bankroll. Let's go ahead and dive into today's video. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Jay. I am the founder of Bitcoin Daily and the unofficial US ambassador for Stepin. The Stepin team doesn't know that yet, but I'm gonna just start claiming it and they're probably gonna just have to give it to me, right? I mean, what else do I gotta do? I have the top watched Stepin video on YouTube with the most views, most likes and comments. If you guys are new to Step In, make sure to watch those videos. I did a Step In Beginner's Guide, which you guys can watch here. I also did a Step In Strategy Guide to make sure that you guys can maximize your profits. Did a video on the different ways that you guys can get your activation codes for Step In. And of course, the most recent one was the Step In Earnings Calculator Guide. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in to the numbers. Remember guys, none of this is financial advice. These are just my opinions and for entertainment and educational purposes only. Also, I am not being paid by Stepin in any manner whatsoever to create these videos. Just thought I should put that out there. If I'm ever paid by a company, I will always disclose it. All right, so a lot of these numbers are going to change depending on the price fluctuation of the GST token. Currently, it is April 26 and the price is at $5.42. For simplicity purposes, I did all calculations at $5.40. Also, the current price of Solana is currently sitting at $97. But for simplicity purposes, we're assuming that Solana is at $100. So for exact numbers, you guys are going to have to look at Solana's current price, GST's current price, and the marketplace's current floor prices as well. So first we're gonna look at the absolute fastest way to take your ROI out strategy. Now for this method, this will be for the lower bankrolls that are starting out just with one shoe and wanna take their ROI out as soon as possible. So we're going to be assuming that you're buying a jogger because for me, I think that's the best one that you can get. It's right in the middle. You can walk fast or jog. It earns more than a walker. Then we're also going to be assuming that you're not upgrading at all. You're not leveling up your shoes at all. You're buying it at the level that it's at and just looking to get your ROI out. So we're looking at a few different levels here. Now joggers are a bit more expensive, so you do have to take that into account. You can definitely do this as well with runners and walkers and you can probably get your ROI back out even faster. But for this video, we're only focusing on joggers. So the different levels that we're going to be covering is level zero, level four, level five, level nine, level 10, 19, and 28. Now level zero, I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, it ain't it. On these, you will basically be starting out with base stats only, and it's just going to take forever to get your ROI back if you're not leveling up. So if you're starting out from level zero, you're going to have to level up. At level four, you'll notice that it's more expensive than level zero, but less expensive than level five and level nine. Now the reason is that at level four, these sneakers all still have zero mints. So remember that the less mints that a sneaker has, usually the more expensive the sneaker is going to be. That's why level zero and level four are on the more expensive side. Now, another reason we're looking at level fours is because level four is right before you get to level five. At level five, it costs 10 GST and 10 GMT in order to level up. 
So some people have been stopping at level four instead of leveling up to level five. So you can see that the floor price on level fours are currently around 18 sol, which translates to $1,800 USD or 333 GST. The average daily earnings on the level four is around 5.82. Now to get these average daily earnings, I use the step in guide calculator. I put in some more or less average numbers and then I optimized those points. So at level five, there's actually a drop off in price. You see that at level five, it's 12.3 sold versus level four, it's 18 sold. The reason for this is because at level five, people have now used these shoes for minting. So at the floor price, you're basically buying shoes with two or three mints on them. So at level five, it's about 1230 USD and 228 GST. The average daily earnings is about 6.5. For the average daily earnings, I did already take into account the repair costs for each day for each sneaker. So we're assuming that you're repairing your sneakers after every single run. If you do not repair your sneakers, then the ROI date will actually be even faster. Remember, as long as your durability is above 50, it does not affect your daily earnings. But if your durability of your sneaker falls below 50, it is going to affect your earnings. So I'm just assuming that we're repairing every single day. The next sneaker that we're taking a look at is the level nine sneaker the floor price on these are around 14.5 so or 1450 dollars the gst cost for a level nine is around 269 gst and the average daily earnings is about 9.05 so similar to level four the reason that we look at level nine is because this is another popular level that people like to stop at the reason they stop here is the same reason as level four in order to get to level 10 it costs a lot more GST and GMT. So due to that, you'll notice that level 10 sneakers are currently sitting around 18 so or $1,800. The cost in GST is 333 GST and the average daily earnings are about 9.6. So really not a big difference between level nine and level 10 to justify the cost. Next, a level 19 sneaker is currently going on the market for about 25 sold. In USD, that's about $2,500. In GST, that's about 463. The average daily earnings are around 13.3 per day. And finally, level 28, floor price currently sitting around 45 sold or $4,500. The GST cost for that is about 834 and the average earnings per day is about 16 at the moment. So after taking a look at this and doing all my calculations, the absolute fastest way to get your return on investment back based on level, cost, and average daily earnings would be the level nine sneaker. The level nine sneaker gets your return on investment in just 29 days, beating out the next closest one by five days. So you can see that the level zero days to ROI is 138, level four is 57 days, level five is 34 days, level nine is 29 days, levels 10 and 19 are both sitting around 35, and level 28 is 52 days to ROI. So the current best strategy right now would be to buy a level nine sneaker from the marketplace at the floor prices and not level up. Just stack up every single day until you get your ROI back. If you want to take that one step further and not repair your sneaker at all the whole way through until you get your ROI, it would be 25 days to ROI at current prices. Just know that on that 25th day, you will be below 50 durability, which will affect your earnings. So you will have to repair it on within the last two days. All right, so let's take a look at the next one, which is if you would start out with an uncommon sneaker instead of a common sneaker and what that ROI looks like. Now we're gonna go through these a little bit faster because I don't wanna make this video too long. So with uncommons, remember that you actually get a plus one energy boost. So you're going to have more time per day to earn GST. However, looking at the same levels, 0, 4, 5, 9, 10, 19, and 18, you could see that even the fastest one, which again, it is level nine with uncommons, 
takes over two times longer than an uncommon level nine, which is 29 days versus 61 days. And with this one, you would not be able to get your ROI back without repairing. You would have to be repairing at least every few days. All right, so the next scenario that we're looking at is if you were to start out with three common sneakers. This is again, another very common strategy that people are using. And this is actually what I tell you guys to try to get to as soon as possible so that you can really maximize those earnings. At three sneakers, you're basically making about $100 per day, which comes out to about $3,000 per month. So our setup here is to get one level nine sneaker because remember the level nine sneaker offers us the fastest possible ROI. And then for the other two sneakers, we're looking to get the cheapest floor price sneakers. It doesn't matter if they're walkers, runners, trainers, whatever it is, we want the cheapest sneakers possible because those two other sneakers do not matter. We're not using those sneakers. Those are only there so that we can get that energy boost. So the cost for this will be 14.5 sold for the level nine. And then the current floor prices, which when I checked was at 12.3 sold. So in total, that's about 39.1 sold in order to get your three sneakers or $3,910, which is a cost of 724 GST. So with nine sneakers, you're going to be earning a daily average of about 18.4 GST per day, which brings our ROI to 30. 39 days. This again is assuming that you're repairing every single day. We're taking those repair costs into account. So not as fast as the single level nine, of course, but with three uncommon shoes, it is a pretty fast ROI. So next let's look at the strategy that I started out with. So this strategy is basically one uncommon shoe plus two floor price common shoes. Now what I did that's a bit different is that for the two common shoes, I got them with zero mints so that I can mint the two shoes and build up to nine sneakers, but that's a whole different strategy. Right now, we're just focused on the fastest possible ROI. So if you remember for the uncommon joggers, the fastest possible ROI was a level nine sneaker, which got us our ROI in 61 days. Now what's interesting here is that if you have a bit more capital, this is actually the better option than just starting out with one uncommon sneaker. What we assumed here is that we got a level nine uncommon sneaker plus two common floor priced sneakers. So the total price for this setup would be 87.6 soul or $8,760. In GST, that would be 1,625 GST. And now remember that this setup actually gives you one bonus energy. So instead of having four energy like the three commons, we're actually going to have five energy per day. So that's going to bring in about 30.99 GST per day, which brings in our days to return on an investment in at 38 days. So this is actually one day faster than just using three common sneakers. All right, so we've covered the basic one common sneaker, one uncommon sneaker, and we've also covered three common sneakers and one uncommon plus two common sneakers. Next, I'm going to be showing you guys what the days to ROI are on the nine sneakers plus one extra bonus strategy. Now, however, before I show you guys these strategies, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are looking to make money in projects like Stepin, if you want to make money through trading, maybe even a little passive income, or maybe you just want to stay up to date with the latest crypto trends, I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again. In addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram, and I also answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube channel. So please leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything that I cover in this video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter where we're currently giving out daily activation codes to those who are still looking for one. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the nine common shoes strategy. So the way that we would set up this strategy would be to get one level nine sneaker and the rest of the sneakers were just looking to get floor priced sneakers. Doesn't matter what they are. Their only purpose is to get us to nine energy. Now, currently the total cost will be about 112.9 Solana. That equates to about $11,290 
or 2,101 GST at current prices. The average daily earnings for this would be about 41.34. Now the days to ROI on this setup would be 51 days. So not bad at all. The only thing is that it's a big upfront cost. Now for the next strategy, we ran into a little issue. This strategy is one uncommon sneaker plus eight common sneakers. The good thing about this setup is that again, with an uncommon sneaker, you get a plus one bonus energy. So instead of nine energy, like we would have with the nine common strategy, we get 10 energy here. So that definitely plays a role on our days to ROI. So this is a problem that we're running into. If the sneaker is only level nine and we have 10 energy, our GST per day limit. So we literally can't get past 50 unless we have a higher level uncommon shoe. So because of that, this strategy needs to be modified because it's just not viable. So what I saw is that we need at least about a level 15 sneaker in order for this strategy to be viable. You can see that here you would earn about 78 GST per day. However, the price difference between a level 15 sneaker and a level 19 sneaker was $500. And you'll see that if we get a level 19 sneaker, our GST per day earnings jump up to about 86, 87. So I think that the best strategy here is to just go for that level 19 sneaker. It's only a $500 difference. If you're going to be investing $18,000 up front, you might as well put in an extra $500 and get a quicker day to ROI. So the most efficient setup that we have for this strategy is one level 19 sneaker that will run you about 90 Solana or $9,000 plus eight common sneakers at floor price levels. That would be about 188.4 Solana in total or $18,840. 3,499 GST. Now this setup will earn you about 87.77 GST per day, which puts your days to return on investment at 40 days. So you can see that this is one of the better days to ROI investments. So if your bankroll allows for such an investment like this, then this is definitely one of the ways to go here. Now, this final strategy is a little bit different. And honestly, I'm not even sure if it's allowed on the terms of service. I'm calling this the three by three strategy. Basically, what you're going to be doing is getting three shoes on three different accounts. The way that you're going to set it up is one level nine per account plus two common sneakers at floor price levels per account. So you see that each account has a level nine and some floor priced sneakers. Total cost would be 117 Solana or $11,730. This would be about 2,181 GST. So this is similar to the nine common sneaker strategy, except we're getting three different level nine sneakers instead of only one level nine sneaker. So you'll notice the cost is very similar. This strategy only costs $500 more, but where the big difference is that you will have 12 energy instead of nine energy. The second difference here is that we will be earning 55.23 GST on average every single day versus 41.34. And on this one, the days to ROI is 51. However, on the three by three strategy, the days to ROI would be about 40 days. So this one definitely beats out the regular nine common shoe strategy. And it's the same as the uncommon plus eight common strategies as far as days to ROI, but for $7,000 less. Again, guys, I do not know if this is against the terms of service for stepping or not. I'm not sure if you're supposed to or if you're allowed to have multiple accounts. So make sure to do your own research on this to see if it's something that's allowed. If anyone has any clarity on this, please let me know in the comments. I'm just bringing you guys the information that I found through these calculations for educational purposes. Now, with all that being said, if you want to know more about projects just like this, as soon as I get into them, then you need to get into my mentorship program. You can see that in my mentorship program, I posted about stepping over one month ago. At the time when sneaker was about 9.6 Solana or $870. I recently posted a new play to earn project that I just invested in and I'm gathering data together so that I can then create some videos for you guys, of course. 
In my mentorship program, I post all the projects that I invest in as soon as I vet them. In addition to that, I share every single trade that I take every single day with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, all of it. Now, there are a limited number of spots for this, so if you're interested, make sure to go down to the description and hit the link below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity and the way it is set up right now, the easy opportunities to make money will not last forever. I went from a high school dropout to a failed musician to a regular nine to five worker until I was able to retire back in 2017. Now I do crypto full time and then I'm literally a professional walker. So if you guys are interested, sign up in the description below. If you're new to Steppin, I strongly recommend that you check out these next two videos, the Steppin Beginner's Guide and the Steppin Strategy Guide so you can start moving to earn and maximize your profits. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, peace and love.